George Stephanopoulos. Very weird, by the way. I don't know what happened here. Rob, if you can pull this clip up. So Stephanopoulos battles Nancy Mays, an explosive showdown about her backing up Trump. And despite uh, uh, the jury finding he's liable for rape, this is obviously mediaite, so the story that's being written. But watch this exchange, and a lot of people are asking for George to have to apologize after this, but go ahead and play this, Rob. Yes, this morning. And uh, you've endorsed Donald Trump for president. Mm-hmm. Uh, judges and two separate juries have found him liable for rape and for defaming the victim of that rape. How do you square your endorsement of Donald Trump with the testimony we just saw? Well, I will tell you, I was raped at the age of 16. Um, and any rape victim will tell you, I've lived for 30 years with a, an incredible amount of shame over being raped. I didn't come forward because of that judgment and shame that I felt. And um, it's a shame that you will never feel, George. And I'm not going to sit here on your show and be asked a question meant to shame me about another uh, potential rape victim. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do that. It's, it's actually not about shaming you. It's a question about. Donald no, you Trump. are shaming. You've me. endorsed Donald Trump for president. Right. Donald Trump has been found liable for rape by a jury. Donald Trump has been found liable for defaming the victim of that rape by a jury. It's been affirmed by a judge. It he was not a criminal the, court case. Was, number one. Number two. I live with shame, and you're asking me a question about my political choices, trying to shame me as a rape victim, and I find it disgusting. And quite frankly, E. Jean Carroll's comments when she did get the judgment, joking about what she was going to buy, it doesn't, it it makes it harder for women to come forward when they make a mockery out of rape, when they joke about it. Does it make it harder for women to come forward when they It makes it harder when other women joke about it, and she's joked about it. I find it offensive, and I also find it offensive that you're trying to shame me with this question. I'm not trying to shame you. You are. In fact, I have dealt with this for 30 years. You know how hard it was to tell my story five years ago when they were doing a fetal heartbeat bill and there were no exceptions? for rape, incest, or, light, or in, rape or incest in there. I had to tell my story because no other woman was coming uh, forth. No rape victims were represented. And you're trying to shame me this morning. I'm just asking and I find it offensive. And this is why women won't come forward. Women won't come forward because they're defamed by those who Shut perpetrate up. rape. Donald they Trump are judged been... and they're shamed. And you're trying to shame me this morning. I'm, I'm I think not, it's disgusting. I'm not shaming you at all. I, I told you my courageous. story. It took me 25 years to tell my story. I was judged for it. I still get judged for it today. I'm asking you a very simple question. It, and I, Vinny. What a, I, I just, by the way, I just love, by the way, Stephanopoulos, he's the, he's the, the Clinton family hack leftist. And again, no apology. If that was anybody else, he'd be canceled because he's actually is shaming her. But the fact that he's bringing up by the way, E.G. Carroll, I don't believe a single word that comes out of that psychotic woman's mouth. He's, he's going, you know, he's stating that the legal system time found him liable. If anything that we've learned over this past two years, especially with Trump, I have zero trust in our legal systems because they're all bought and paid for by the political left and they could do whatever the hell they want with it. I, I've never had respect for this guy and I lost, even if I had an ounce of it, I lost of it more. He should 100% apologize to her. He's trying to make it political. Tom. She was actually raped. Yeah, th- th- look, he had one objective for this interview, corner her. That was the objective for the interview and the producer in his ear was coaching him saying look corner her on supporting trump who you know has had these things in court corner her and so he does that and then he pursues it and he ends up looking like a complete prick because she had a very strong retort based on personal feelings that no one can counter because that's her experience that's what happened to her crime was committed against her and this guy kept pressing the point and i think that would just shows how desperate he was to just make the point and corner Trump. And he didn't care what he did to her. He didn't care what happened. And now it looks pretty bad on the reflection of public opinion and objective analysis after it's over. Uh, I'm trying to think of where I've heard this name. Um, Peggy Mace. Was it? It's uh, Nancy Mace. She's in Congress. She's no, awesome. no, exactly. Well, She's well when, when you first heard her name, she was one of the few members that aligned with Matt Gates to get Kevin McCarthy ousted as the Speaker of the House. Mm-hmm. And she, I believe, was one of the... Her district is Charleston, South Carolina, 
which is a charming place that typically goes blue. But she's a Republican. She was elected there. And I, I, I remember going down the path. of like, Who is this woman? Why did she align herself with Matt Gaetz? She's pretty moderate in the Republican side of things. She was actually the first woman to graduate from the Citadel Corps of Cadets program. She served in the military. She's a beast. She's a, Elite leadership. Yeah, elite leadership right there. Um, horrible to see her story. Horrible to see what uh, Stephanopoulos tried to do to her. Um, and we'll see what happens to him. Likely nothing. Yeah. But... Um, you know what it is? It's just a turnoff. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. You know, you're, you're bringing somebody in. You you brought them in because they were going to talk about what their current agenda is. And you flipped it and you put this about her against Trump. And it's it's mm -hmm. it's something you can choose to do. And when you choose to do that, you can also have the heat that you get from the marketplace saying that was a classless act. And you know what? Good for you, uh, for Nancy, for standing up for yourself. Respect to you, and uh, George, you get to choose how you want to handle this moving forward because your organization claims they're big on uh, DEI, and they claim they're big on women power and Me Too and all this stuff. This woman actually went through it. The only problem is, does DEI apply to Republican women, white women, or is it just like Democratic? I wonder what those – I haven't read fully all the criteria of what George and his uh, camp follow when it comes down to DEI. I'd be curious to know if the white Republican – women that vote for Trump also fall in that category. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, he will have to decide how he's going to respond to that. This is what we're going to do. Anybody that places an order of, let's say, $50 or more, minimum one future looks bright hat, because I want a million people this year wearing this gear. There were so many people in the arena independently wearing the Future Looks Bright gear. Mm -hmm. And it's so confusing for people who are pessimistic when they see somebody say the Future Looks Bright. But this is what I'm going to do. Anybody that places an order of uh, uh, you know $50 or more, okay, between now and Thursday, but specifically anyone that places an order, every for every $50 you place an order, you get one ticket in the drawing, and I'm going to get... I don't know. I'm going to get four tickets to the next UFC fight. Wow. Okay. I don't even know where the next UFC fight UFC is. UFC 300. And I'm going to give two people two UFC tickets. Rob, if you can give me those. Sam, just bring it to me. Just bring it to me. It's okay. And here's what we got. These are the things that we have right now for International Women's Day. We just got these pink. Uh, 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 oh, look at that. Yeah. Pink future looks bright hats that are here. Sam, are these on the site? So Rob has. Let's make sure they're on the site. We got these two future looks uh, bright uh, women's hat, pink, to choose from. And then Love we got that. the new navy blue. Navy blue, if you're like a police officer, we got the new navy blue future looks bright. Let's make sure. And these are on the site. Rob, can you show these things being on the site? You place the order of the hats. Oh, that blue is sick. $50 or more. For every $50, we're going to do a drawing. And on Thursday, I'm giving away four mm -hmm. UFC tickets. That, that's the no. one, right? The navy blue. And then, uh, Samuel, I don't know if I see the pink one on there. So if you can make sure that gets on there as well. But uh, that's what we're going to do. Make sure you place your order. Okay. It's uh, April 13th, Las Vegas. Perfect. UFC there you go. April 13th, month. Las Vegas. I'm going to give away four tickets. So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.